Hey, welcome back to the Buck Run Kids Show. It's pretty, it's pretty exciting day around here because we are wrapping up our exploration of the Old Testament. We've been reading for almost 24 weeks now uh, through the Old Testament, and it has been an oh. awesome journey. Oh, yeah. Man, we saw at the beginning how God created this wonderful world, and everything was perfect. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. And, then, and then we rafts. saw— The rafts. We jumped on the rafts. We, I do remember oh, we cool. did we jumped in their ass. We did huh? apply our critical thinking skills, and we th- thought, how did Noah get his family and those That's animals right. onto the ark? That was a very important week where we thought about the Bible. Yeah. Oh, the noodles. Oh man, we had all the all the kids were there live. Do you remember? We had the noodles. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Noodles, the Bucker and Kids Show, the live edition of the Bucker and Kids Show. That was oh, that man. was pretty awesome. We oh. you all got to come, and the other Mr. Seth uh, taught us how we should look forward, look back, and look up to God yeah. through through everything that He's doing. That was a really fun week of the Bucker and Kids Show. Oh. Cooking, Grandma Betty's. Special coffee cake. Do you remember that? The I, turtle dropping I, coffee cake. Do you remember that? I do remember. Oh, you yeah. Quite the thing going here. And that was a week where we learned that God has a plan. Hmm. And it's important that we follow his plan instead of falling into the temptation of thinking we know what's best and, and not following it's funny. the plan. I haven't uh, received any requests for the recipe yet. Oh. They're coming, though. I, I know they're coming. Sure. They're coming. I bet. Oh, yeah. I bet that they Ooh, want it. Forks. Oh, you remember all the forks in the road? Yes. Oh, yeah, threw all those forks out there. I remember the, the guy who had a flat tire because he ran over the forks that you threw in the parking lot. Yeah, he, he wasn't too happy about well, all that. Well, he was very I, gracious. I was I thinking forks, you know. Let's yeah, say. instead of a figurative fork in the road, it's an important word, where yeah. we saw that there's two paths. We can choose to do the wise thing, oh, yeah. following mm-hmm. God's plan, or we can follow our own way and make bad decisions follow the ways of the world. That was a, was a really important lesson. Yeah. And now as we wrap up the Old Testament uh, here in Expedition 24, there's this growing excitement. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited Woo! too, Mr. Oh, Seth. Oh, man. Because we're, we're ending the Old Testament. We see that the prophets are continuing to tell us about this coming king all throughout the narrative of the Old Testament. We've seen God's love for people. And even when things got messed up, he continued to, to pursue people. And he has a plan, and the prophets are telling us about uh, this coming king. And this week's pretty cool because we get to read through uh, the prophet Isaiah again. We get to read from Jeremiah. We're even going to read from Jonah, and then we're going to end the week reading from Zechariah. Zechariah! Oh, my favorite. My favorite book of the Bible. I absolutely love Zechariah. It's really good. Why do you love Zechariah, and why do you have a penguin on your face. Cleansing. Cleansing. Zechariah 13.1 talks about cleansing. I have my penguin cleanser on. By the way, it's a dead salt. Mm. Dead sea salt? Sometimes it comes off and you just have to reapply. Just like that. Does Uh, that actually do something? Yes, it exfoliates my pores and it makes things yeah, better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what, it's really good stuff. I actually, I actually enjoy it. Wow. Ooh, so you can just take it off and now it's really nice yeah. and good. Because this week is about cleansing, right? Zechariah, there's all the other prophets, but there's Zechariah that I really focus on. So, you know, you've got everything from uh, the cleansing of your face with the uh, mask there to, ah, the hair. Yeah. So what, what I like to do to really cleanse, okay? I like my hair cleanse, my scalp cleanse. So what you do is you get your hair nice and wet, okay? This is important, all right? You get it wet because you don't want to become bald, right? You don't want that, right? So then we get like this. Here we go. You might need to use a lot, though. So like that, right? That's how you use it. And then you get your hair all soapy. Oh, Mr. Seth. Yeah, Yeah. so Zachariah is talking about a different kind of... No, so then you got, what happens is, is that you, uh, yeah, I know, I know what you're going to say. And it's actually the al- eyebrow cleanser. Oh, I know, that, right? So the eyebrow cleanser, it's interesting, okay? Eyebrow cleansing, it's right here. And what you do is you apply it just like this. To your eyebrows. Uh, to your eyebrows. How'd you know that? You've done this before. I nice. knew it. You've read Zechariah. I knew Actually, it. Actually, Zechariah That's, has nothing to do oh, with Oh, sure it does. And what you, uh, what you were going to say, I don't mean to cut you off, but I do mean to cut you off. What it is that you were trying to say is, 
is that Zechariah or in cleansing, and one of the main cleansing things that we do, we don't want those bags under our eyes. So what we do, this is called bag under the eye cleanser. Huh? Uh. Wow. Yeah, right? Every just, yeah. morning. Okay. Do the house look? Wow. It, under my eyes? Right here. The bag's getting better. Right right yeah, okay. Bag getting better? Good, 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 good. Well, I'm super excited about that. I bet. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah. I'm glad that you have your yeah. personal hygiene stuff. Absolutely. Going. And yeah. you also have to make sure you apply the beard cleanser. Beard cleansing all over the beard. Kids don't have beards. Some do. Oh. Good, I think. Good for you, so, kids. Yeah. Good I think some you. do, but it's, this is wow. really good. So basically, you know, it's... You're, cleansing cleansed. is a really important part yeah. Yeah. of the Bible. It's a significant yeah. thing that the coming king is doing. Oh. Uh, yeah. but I don't know if it's exactly what Ooh. the author had in mind. Feels good here. What are you doing with guacamole? Oh. Does that go on like your forehead? Oh, no. Snack. Oh. You know what's cleansing? Really gets me hungry. Wow. Yeah. Well, Mr. Very, Seth, very you, hungry. You've really opened my eyes mm. to some, some things today. Yeah. Because uh, when I've read Zechariah mm-hmm. in the past, yeah. I've never, never applied it to personal hygiene. And actually, I think Zechariah actually wants us to think about why we need to be cleansed. Ah. And who can cleanse us. And it's actually not outward cleansing oh. that he's focused on. Even though I'm proud of the effort you put into your personal hygiene. Yeah. No, that he's showing <laughs> that, that we're sinners and we've really messed up and we're, we, we need to be clean. We're dirty on the inside because mm. of our sin. And this coming king that we know is Jesus is coming and he's going to clean everything up through, yeah. through his life, death, burial, resurrection. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's well, hanging there for a few weeks. It's probably going to make a little more sense. Well, I, I'm glad. I'm excited about it too. But yeah. And we forgot about the one important thing. Oh, what's that? You remember? No, I don't. Nose hairspray. I don't think. Nose hairspray. Watch. You apply it just like this. You just Woo. sprayed nose. Huh. Mmm. Well, yeah. kids, it's been a great show. Cleansed. Cleansed. You don't look cleansed. No? But. Kids, I'm excited for you to read the Bible this week as we conclude in the Old Testament. Be faithful this week to read yeah. and to think about uh, what the author is actually saying in the text uh, and apply what he's learning. It's, it's going to be a great week. And next week we'll begin the New Testament. And if you do have any personal hygiene questions, ask anyone but Mr. Seth. We'll see you later, Buckrun kids. Bye. <laughs>